Good morning students and welcome to today's math class. So in the previous class we did a quick revision on what all we have studied in the chapter addition. Correct. So we finished the third chapter addition. In today's class we will be starting with the next chapter that is called shapes. So in today's class we will be learning all about shapes. Okay. So what do you all know about shapes? Shapes are nothing but they are plain figures. They are they are closed plane figures. Okay, and we find shapes everywhere. All the things you'll use have some or the other shape. Correct. For example, your compass box. Your compass box is a rectangular shape. And then your water bottles. Water bottles are circular shape. Correct. Like that, we have many things which have different shapes. So let's study a few of the shapes today. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to learn shapes. These shapes are called 2D shapes. So what is a 2D shape? A 2D shape is a flat plane figure or a shape that has two dimensions, length and width. It has length and it has width. We'll see what is length and width later. First of all, we have so many shapes. First, we have the triangle shape. Correct. We have a triangle. Then a triangle has three sides. One, two, three. Then we have a pentagon. Pentagon has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have something called a rectangle. Rectangle has four sides. One, two, three, four. And then we have a circle. Circle has how many sides? It doesn't have any straight sides or straight lines. It has only one curved side like this. Okay, it is a curved side and this is called a circle. And then we have a square. Correct. So here again square has how many sides? One, two, three, four sides. And then we have a hexagon. Hexagon is something with six sides. Okay, you all don't have to think about it much you all have only triangles squares rectangle and circle then octagon octagon is an eight-sided figure and then you have an oval oval is like a circle only but it is a little flatter than a circle oval is nothing but an x shape okay x shape is oval okay so these are different 2d shapes let's study all these shapes one by one first is circle so circle is a circle is round it has one side and no corners okay a circle is round and it has one side and no corners so as we saw in this image here it has only one side it has one curved side not straight side but one curved side okay and it does not have any corners a circle does not have any corners okay so different examples where you see circles every day are a wheel a wheel of a car okay so or a tire of a car all these are circular in shape okay and then moon your moon is also circular in shape when you see the full moon in the sky you see it looks like a circle correct it looks like a circle then sun even a sun normally we draw or uh, it like a circle only correct and all are coins one rupee coin two rupees five rupees coin these are all circular in shapes so like this you'll find various other uh, things which are circular in shape okay then we have a triangle what is triangle as we saw a triangle has three sides and it has three corners now if you see here in this picture a triangle has three sides this is one side two and this is three sides and these are the corners of a triangle okay these are the corners of a triangle these are the corners okay and these are the sides so this is one side this is two and this is three so how many corners are there there are three corners and how many sorry three corners and how many sides are there one two three sides are there okay so a triangle has three sides and three corners then we saw something uh, we'll see a few examples on triangles where we see every day your natural chips these are kind of chips these are all triangular in shape then your uh, signs uh, which are there on the road to control the traffic 
or parking signs these are all triangular in shapes okay then if you cut a watermelon like this it will also look like a triangle and pizza everyone likes a pizza right so pizzas are all triangle in shape okay so this was circle and triangle so what we saw a circle is round it has one curved side and no corners correct then we saw what is a triangle what is a triangle a triangle has three sides and three corners correct now we'll see what is a square a square has four sides okay a square has four sides so we'll draw a square and see okay a square looks something like this so how many sides does a square have a square has one this is two this is three this is four sides and how many corners it has it has four corners this is one corner this is two here if we join this this will become three and this is four okay so a square has four sides and four corners and all the sides in a square are of equal length okay all the sides in a square are of equal length so various examples of a square are a chess board this is a chess board okay it is square in shape then if you take a photo frame okay sometimes photo frames are of square shape okay now next we have a rectangle a rectangle also has four sides okay a rectangle also has four sides but then it has uh, it, it has four corners and four sides just like a square so this is one corner two three and four these are the four sides this is one this is two this is three and this is four so it has four sides and four corners but it uh, like a square in a square all the four sides are equal like that in a rectangle all the four sides are not equal the opposite sides are equal opposite means like this so if i consider this square this side then its opposite side is this so these two sides will be of the same length and then this side and this is the opposite of that side so these two will be of the same length okay so in a rectangle a rectangle has four sides it has four corners and its opposite sides are equal so example for a rectangle is a blackboard okay your doors are rectangular in shape okay so windows are rectangular in shape cupboards are rectangular in shape okay so these are all examples of square and rectangle so these were the four main shapes that you all are going to study okay so let's see a few questions on shapes in your textbook and uh, i'll show you a few more shapes which are not there in your textbook but you can just learn it and so that you'll know okay so we have a pentagon as i told you a pentagon has five sides and it has five corners okay it has five sides and five corners so this is as you, in this on this football the black color shape that you see that is a pentagon and this is a dog house this dog house also looks like a pentagon only okay then we have a hexagon what is a hexagon a hexagon has six sides and six corners so this is a stop sign this looks like a hexagon and this is a honeycomb okay honeycomb this also is hexagon in shapes all the tiny honeycombs that you see here these are all hexagon shapes they all have six sides okay so the last two are not very important for you all you all mainly have to know what is a square what is a rectangle what is a circle and what is a triangle so as you also a circle has one curved side no corners triangle has three sides and three corners a square has four sides four corners and all its sides are equal of 
are of equal length and in a rectangle a rectangle has four sides it has four corners and its opposite sides are equal okay so this is what we studied about shapes now let's see a few questions so chapter number four on page number 97 in your books so shapes and patterns so today we'll be studying about shapes and in patterns will patterns will study in the next class okay shapes so do you remember these shapes so first one what is the first shape we just now learned now what is it it is a rectangle so let's see what they have given here ricky rectangle okay the name of the rectangle is ricky okay ricky rectangle is my name my four sides are not the same so he's telling that his four sides are not the same two are short and two are long two, so two sides of the rectangle are short and two sides of the rectangle are long so count my sides come along one two three four so let's count his sides so this is one this is two this is three and this is four so he has four sides correct now which is the next shape here it is a triangle so i am tommy triangle his name is tommy look at me count my sides there's one two three so when you look at him and count his sides how many sides are there here one two and three so there are three sides then sammy square is my name my four sides are just the same turn me around i don't care i'm always the same i'm a square so the square's name is sammy he's telling that all his four sides are just the same even if you turn turn it around it it doesn't matter it will remain the same okay it will always remain the same same and it is a square okay and the last shape i am sara circle watch me turn round and round and you will learn i am not straight my eye my outside edges never end so the circle's name is sara she is telling that watch me turn round and round so the circle turns round and round and it, uh, it you see that it is never straight it is not straight okay and all its edges never end so its ne edges never end it goes on and on so these are the four shapes that is a rectangle a triangle a square and a circle okay so as it's shown here a rectangle has two short sides and two long sides it has total four sides and a triangle has three sides a square has four sides which all are same even if you turn them they don't change and the circle has only one side and it will edges never end and it is not straight okay so let's see a few questions here now color the rectangles pink squares yellow triangles red and circles green okay so you have to color the rectangles pink color so let's see where all are the rectangles so which is a rectangle here now this is a rectangle correct so you'll color this pink okay you'll cur you'll color it neatly so this is a rectangle okay then any other rectangles now if you see this this is a square so don't color that now this is a rectangle so you can color this okay so this is a rectangle you'll color it neatly so that it doesn't go in the other side okay so which all you'll color pink this one this is a rectangle then this is a rectangle what about this one this is also a rectangle so this also you all will color pink then there's one more rectangle this is also a rectangle so this also you'll have to color pink okay so color all these rectangles pink then what they've told color the squares yellow so which all we colored pink this one this rectangle this rectangle 
and this rectangle now you have to color the squares yellow okay so where are the squares this these are all triangles correct so squares are here so this is one square so color this yellow and this is another square so color this in yellow color okay so you have to color them yellow then they have told color the triangles red where are the triangles we have so many triangles so you'll color this triangle red this is also a triangle then this is a triangle okay this is a triangle then here this and this so these are all triangles so you will color them red i have colored only little you have to color it completely okay you have to color the shapes completely and fill them with colors so rectangles are pink squares are yellow and triangles are red and circles are which color circles are green color so this circle will color green color here okay so we color it green and there's one more circle here that is this correct so this is also a circle so this also you color green okay so this uh, complete this for your homework color all these shapes with their respective colors that is rectangle pink square yellow triangles red and circles green okay so complete this coloring then match the following on page number 99 now here what they've told match the following shapes with their name okay so we'll match the shapes with their name now see here first one what is the shape the shape is circles so what is how will you write circle here circle is over here b1 and what is the spelling for circle circle spelling is c i r c l e circle okay so this is a circle now what is the next shape see how many sides it has it has one two three what is the shape with three sides called it is called a triangle where is the triangle triangle is here what is the spelling for triangle t r i a n g l e triangle okay so that is the spelling for triangle then next shape what is the next shape here it is a rectangle correct so we'll match it with rectangle over here and what is the spelling for rectangle it is r e c t a n g l e rectangle then the last shape which is this shape it is a square and what is the spelling for square it is s q u a r e square okay s q u a r e square so how will you match it so this is a circle so you will match the circle then this is a triangle then this is the rectangle and this is the square okay so this is how you match all these shapes now name next question name the shapes of the following objects so you have to name the shapes of these following object now what is this it is a button so what how, what shape is a button it is circle shape so you'll write here circle like this c i r c l e circle then this is a kite correct so what is the shape uh, what shape is it it is a square so s q u a r e square then this is a no parking sign what sign it is it's a triangle so t r i a n g l e triangle okay then we have another shape here what shape does this look like it is a rectangle so we'll write rectangle here r e c t a n g l e rectangle then we have a chessboard what is the shape of the chessboard we saw that shape of a chessboard is square so s q u a r e square and what is this this is a book what is the shape of that book it is rectangle so again rectangle r e c t a n g l e rectangle okay so this is what are shapes and what are the different shapes okay in the next class we will study what are patterns okay we'll see what are patterns and for your homework complete this coloring on page number 98 color all the shapes with the correct color okay so do this for your homework and in your next class we'll continue with patterns all right students thank you i'll see you all in the next class thank you